So here I have a piece that I have just trimmed out. And one of the things that might happen because we don't have um, slab sticks and we don't have a way to really control the thickness of the slab is that you'll find that it is not uncommon when you roll your own slab at home that it might not be a consistent depth. See that? It's thicker there and it's thin at this end. So what you can do is you can put your piece right back down and give it a quick little roll and try and spread out your clay just a little bit more and change the thickness where you think it's a little thick. Once you do that, you can take a look since the slab is already cut, you can pick it up and you can look at it from all sides and say, okay, do I like that better? Do I think it needs a little more? And then, see there, it needs a little more over there. So then you can feel free to put your pattern piece back down on the slab and trim off whatever is excess at that point. That's one way that we can try and control the thickness of the slabs and make them consistent because we do want them as consistent as possible. Right? So there's my pattern piece right back on. And now I'm going to retrim it and I'm going to do the same process with all of my pieces. And make sure that as you're working, since we have limited clay, since we're home and working from home, that you're reprocessing all your clay. So all of these little pieces that you've got here, don't leave them out there in the air to dry. Squeeze them all together, ball them into a bigger ball, and put them back in your supply bag and seal the bag up.